Hello, this is Kush Sharma from smoothblogging.com. Welcome back to the blogging tip series of videos. And in this video, I'll quickly talk about something which might not seem important at first, but it is very, very important. And that is about keeping your blog content organized on your computer. Okay. Normally, people don't do this because it seems very geeky, but I'm telling you, it's, it, it, it is so important because it will save you a lot of time in the future. Okay. The, how you go about this process is very simple you have a folder which is your main folder okay which will be the name of your blog okay so suppose your the name of your blog is ABC so ABC will be your main folder and inside this folder all the content that you have on your blog or, or the content that you create for your blog will be organized according to categories so suppose if you're writing an article for your blog you'll have a folder called articles and inside that you'll have you can keep that article okay so so your blog is maintaining your content online and by doing this the folder method you you're organizing your content offline so if you design an image you can have a separate folder called designs or images and you can put an image if you're if you have the Facebook page for your blog and uh, you've just created a Facebook profile image for your Facebook page for your blog so you can have a folder called Facebook inside that you can have a folder called Facebook designs and inside that you can save that image okay so basically you're creating categories and all these uh, uh, folders they're inside the main folder which is the name of your blog okay I'll tell you why this is important because of several reasons Okay, one of them is because you may require to go back and change the content at some point of time okay this happens a lot especially in uh, when you create images so sometimes you might create an image and or you might write an article too and you and suddenly you feel you're just not happy with something in it and you want to change it okay if you have everything organized you know exactly where to go and you can make those changes very quickly okay if you don't know where the content is you might have deleted it you don't know where it is you might just have to do it all over again okay another reason to do this is this is very crucial uh, when you change your computers okay this doesn't happen often but suppose if you're changing your laptop and you need to transfer all the data from one laptop to another okay now if you're all if all the content that you were saving okay which is going in your blog if you if you were saving that on your old laptop in a very haphazard manner okay so you were just not really caring about it in this case what will happen is that you you have to start finding and searching all that data and then place it in one place and then shift it to the new computer okay and this can be very very time consuming sometimes it'll just be impossible because you don't know where the old data is but if you organize this properly and with the method that I told you then you just have to move one folder which is the main folder that is your blog name because everything is inside it okay so you just have to move one folder and it's everything is taken care of and you just have to shift it to the new computer that's it just one folder another reason is you never know what can go wrong okay so since you know something can go wrong with your hosting service provider something can go wrong with your theme you can you know probably do something which is not right on the website and you never know it can just crash and you might just lose your website altogether or, or all the data in it okay if that happens now don't be scared it doesn't happen often but it has happened before to people so you should always take the precaution so if this does happen you'll you know you will be disappointed but you will not be that disappointed why because you know that all the data is with you and all you have to do is you just have to keep posting the content again you never have to make that content create that content right from scratch okay because if you were not organizing it properly it can happen that you might never find the old data you know because you don't know where it is so you might have to write those articles again you might have to make those videos again those images again but when you know it's organized you you just have to post it again okay another reason is the most simple reason is just looks professional okay you feel professional about it you feel good about it because you feel like a professional blogger and not just a hobby blogger so you feel go good about what you're doing because you know it is professional so these are the few reasons why you should keep your uh, blog content organized on your computer and uh, I hope I really hope you do follow this and I'll see you in the next video bye for now